All right, guys, go to point 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting at a range, one of my favorite places, point blank range down here in Matthews, North Carolina. But uh, in any case, uh, went ahead and uh, bit the bullet. I mean, you can literally say I bit the bullet, but uh, uh, went ahead and purchased this right here. FNX 45. So this is the first day on the range. We're going to go ahead, chamber around, center out. Now, this is a single action, double action firearm. So what we can do is you can go ahead and you can pull that thing. So we're going to go ahead and bring it in. I'm going to do a, uh, in a double action mode. So we'll go ahead and do that first. So we're going to enact the decocker there, and we're going to go ahead and do it in double action. Good God Almighty. A real quick study on the uh, the double action. It's probably it's tremendously smooth. It's one of the most impressive. Things I've ever Guys, that double action is absolutely, it, it's ball bearing. It's nuts. I mean, I, I, you know, every time you get a gun, you're like, woo, that's nice. A new one, and it's like, that's even better. That, that double action is unbelievable. But we're done here at the range. Let's, uh, we're gonna head it back to the uh, tabletop review. We'll go into this thing in a little bit more detail. Stand by. Hey guys, good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Got my cup of coffee using that Yeti cup. Or is this the Arctic cup? Hell, I can't keep them straight anymore. No, this is the Arctic cup. How about that, man? In any case, did a review on that a little while back. Everybody's doing reviews on the Arctic cup, the Ozark cups, the, the Yeti cups. We're going to do one on the uh, comparison between the Yeti, or no, I'm sorry, the Arctic and the Ozark. And the Ozark cup is actually going to be part of my 2000 subscriber giveaway. So you guys will have a bit of history. But moving forward, let's talk about what's sitting right here. Guys, this is a uh, really good deal. My buddy over there at the arms room hooked me up. This was a slightly used, less than 50 rounds through the chamber, FN, FNX 45. And uh, I'll tell you what, basically, as you saw at the range, I, I was seriously impressed so much so that I've just got, I've got to scramble to find a holster for this thing because I want to use it as a carry weapon. But let's talk about this real quickly. The box it comes in, you get this big old plastic chunky box. It's got this weird ass plasticky rubber blue thing. I, I absolutely can't stand it. Fortunately, mine only came with one back strap, but you know what? I'm not really care about that. Usually, I just leave the back straps that are on there and just go with and adjust myself. In the box, you're going to go ahead and get the uh, manual, the, the uh, spent, spent shell, and a lock. All right. And in the case you're going to come, the thing comes with three of these badass magazines. Let's go ahead and pull these out. And pull that heavy beast out of there. And we're gonna get rid of the box. So we can do a full blown thing on this beautiful pistol here. Here we go. This bad boy sitting in front of you right now. This is the FNX 45 by FN Herstel out of Columbia, South Carolina. Now this guy right here is a 45 his capacity is 15 plus one, which means it is a bad MoMA MoMA. So let's talk about it a couple, real quickly. This thing came about back in 2007 as a solicitation to uh, join in the U.S. Joint Combat Pistol Program. Now, it never came to fruition, but uh, what they did was they came up with a similar version of what was then called the FNP and developed the FNX in 2013. And this is what we're looking at right now. They also offered a thing in nine millimeter and 40 cal. It has a polymer lower and a stainless steel slide and a cold hammer forged stainless steel barrel. The barrel is four inches in length and is uh, heavily grooved. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I took this thing to the range in the videos you saw before. Now, 
I have only one other firearm to compare it to, and that would be my uh, Rock On Armory Double Stack 45 Tac Ultra, or Ultra Track, or whatever you call that thing. And they're very similar in size, but this thing empty, both of them comparatively empty. This is a one, <laughs> this is one pound lighter. And guys, to be perfectly honest with you, the uh, perfected ammo would not fire in that uh, Rock Island. It just wouldn't do it R uh, reliable. This thing ate it up, which lends it to, makes me believe that this thing could just pretty much eat anything. So I gotta be honest with you, man. As far as a tactical pistol is concerned, you got 15 plus one. So the round count is not an argument for you people saying you need more than, you know, seven rounds. And then for you people who have are a big stickler for the 45 round, here you go, guys. This is a viable option. It's, it's, it's relatively light for a 45, heavy duty, high capacity, and amazing pistol in itself. Now, FN, you know it's going to be quality made. It's uh, got a great reputation all the way around. Now, talking about a couple of things, and I, I usually like to do the reviews, talking about front to back. Now, let's do that. Let's get it, uh, let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a little closer. Stand by. All right, let's start off by talking about these magazines. The kit comes with three magazines. Each magazine holds 15 rounds. Now, one of the things that I was trying to tell everybody earlier is that I had no issue putting 15 rounds in this thing. Well, some of the folks do have some issues. I did not. Not a big fan of the round plate when it comes to loading because it just doesn't give you a good platform to put them click, click, click in there. However, you put a magazine in here, that rounded area right there, I nicknamed that the Skull Crusher because, man, just think about it. You could pop the shit out of somebody right in the head with that thing if it need if you needed to. So uh, anyway, we're going to call that this base plate the, the Skull Crusher. You've got three magazines. Kit comes with it. Each one identical, nickel plated, steel. These are very expensive, individually purchased. Uh, you can get them at Midway, uh, Brownells. Cheaper than dirt, anywhere from $43 to $44 a piece. Now, for me to pr provide for a complete package in a tactical sense, I need at least minimum of four magazines. I particularly, I prefer to have six to make this a complete package. But hey, you know, at the end of the day, you've got uh, 90 rounds of 45 in a great piece of equipment and, and it's reliable. All right, so enough talking about the magazines. These things are beefy. We're going to do a weight comparison here very shortly, so stand by. We'll put those out of the way. Now, let's talk about this thing real quickly. Stainless steel upper slide. You can see we've got a nice serrated skeletonized hammer. This is a hammer-fired weapon. The FNS is a striker. FNX is hammer-fired. This particular uh, one came with the Trigicon night sights on it. Please tell me that's not a big scratch. Whew. That's scary, <laughs> but uh, in any case, this thing, uh, some kind of nitride finish on the top of it, scratch resistance, very, very nice and very clean as you can tell right here. Now, I purchased this one used, and it is just was in fabulous shape. The guys told me, he said, yeah, he's probably put like 50 rounds to it. It was a gun collector, like to carry and buy guns, just like somebody else I know. But other than that, that's basically it. You got serrations in the front and back. You got some cool markings here. There's my train, 45 ACP. FNX45, there's your FN, stainless steel, markings right there, and FN USA, Fredericksburg, Virginia, made in the USA. So, anyway, that is the upper slide. Very smooth, clean, beefy, bulky. Let's say it, robust. It also has a loaded chamber indicator. Now, this thing, a little booger right here, as you can tell, it is flush. When it, there's a round in the chamber, it pokes up just a tad. Not as quite as much as the XD or the XDMs, but it, you can rub your finger right there and tell that you do have a round in the chamber. All right, so talk about the lower portion of this thing. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, you've got some really, really nice checkering right there. Back strap comes with a couple interchangeable back straps. Mine only had two, no big deal. For me, I probably will keep the one that's on there right now because it's very comfortable. Each back strap has the lanyard hull right there. Checkering. Striations on the front side right here. Then you've got the trigger guard right here. You've got some striations right there. Okay. 
The cool thing about this particular pistol is it does have ambidextrous controls, pretty much all around with the exception of the takedown pin right here. All right, so when you can, let's just talk about this. All right, so you can carry this thing in safe, fire, and decocker on both sides. Safe, fire, decocker. Now, because you can carry this thing cocked and locked, you can carry it in condition one. Now, I'm not a big fan of carrying a double action firearm in condition one because it just doesn't make sense. I mean, for you guys in 1911s, that's fine. But for me, you're not gaining a lot. Let's go ahead and decock it so you can check that out. All right, because the double action movement on this thing is very smooth, just like that. All right, go ahead and put that thing in safe. You can carry it completely this engages the trigger however the slide will operate all right you've got a slide lock right here and it's protected on both sides so it keeps you from inadvertently hitting it you know how a lot of times you'll fire that thing and it's like oh it didn't lock to the rear well, a lot of times that's your fault but in this case not so much all right so anyway we've got the ambidextrous controls slide lock release on both sides right here You've got this nice, cool, teardrop-looking mag release button. A lot of people said they can't put their uh, mags in fully loaded. I don't have any issues with that. I like that. Both sides. Very nicely done. I don't have any problems. Now, one of the issues, and uh, a good friend of mine over there, 704 Tactical, he has some issues with his. But one of my dislikes is this flex in the lower grip. Not a big fan of that. But with a polymer grip, I've never seen that in a polymer grip. But because I think they're trying to keep up with some kind of weight standard, they may be trying to lighten this thing up anyway. All right, so moving forward, we've got a nice trigger guard. Serrations in the front. We've got a four-slotted Picatinny rail section in the front, 1913 mil spec. Now, the trigger on this thing is very nice, okay? Uh, roughly about a 4.25-pound trigger pull on this. Now, watch this one I'll show you. That's nice. Let's do it again. Now, there's a click in there. And guys, I'm thinking what that is, is it's going to be the, uh, the firing pin block. I don't know. That's the only thing I can come up with. And the only time it happens is when you actually cycle the firearm. You, if you reach up and you do it like that, there's nothing there. All right, so look at smooth the double action, or the single action. Double action. There's no catches in it, which doesn't what lends itself to not bringing you off target. And like I said, guys, on a double action, when you're drawing and you're going into action, you're shitting and getting just like that. You're not worried about keeping that little tight group together. People kill me with that whole deal. Because, you know, double action is really cool. You can do that. But again, if you want, lock and cock, condition one. All right. Talk about a couple things. Let's break this bad boy down. Bring it to the rear like that. Rotate that down. Pull it back, release it, slides out right back. All right, one of the cool things about a polymer gun, and this was one of the uh, neat attributes about this, is that, you know, being a military uh, firearm, you want it to last a long time. So they made these slide rails right here, metal and replaceable, so that down the road, if you do have an issue with them, you can go ahead and get them replaced. Very clean functions inside. I mean, I don't have anything to talk about other than it's just really clean looking right there. Um, that's it. Now let's talk about this. Very clean up in here. Got the guide rod, guide rod spring. These are both captured right here, but I want you to look at this. Look at that spring. It's flat spring. I'm not seeing that. Very cool. Nice thing about having a captured guide rod spring is you don't have to worry about that thing zinging off in the middle of the night in the woods. I'm sure if any of you guys have been cleaning your firearms, you've had that happen. I have. All right, talking about the barrel, she's stainless steel, cold hammer forged, got a polished uh, guide rail or guide ramp right there. Uh, this thing, what makes this thing so accurate, and I can tell you right now, first time I shot it, it, it was dead on. Uh, the barrel movement inside, the vertical movement, is minimal. And the locking position, when this thing comes in, it's in, it's locked, it's very nice. So I don't have any complaints right there, the tooling, everything is absolutely perfect in this weapon. Go ahead and put this thing back together. I mean, the truth is in the pudding, baby. This thing is bad as hell. Probably one of now one of my favorite pistols. I've, wait a minute, what are you doing? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. 
Oh well. I don't know what I was doing wrong there. But that's it, guys. In a nutshell, that is the FNX. That's the history behind it. It's an excellent firearm. Uh, guys, if you're in the market for a 45 with a heavy duty uh, capacity, I'd suggest this is not, this is a, a, a go deal for me. I mean, I, I ran into my buddy over there, Matt King, at the Arms Room in Charlotte, North Carolina on uh, South Boulevard. If you guys take a look at his Facebook page, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But he's got a lot of tremendous good deals in there. He gets some firearms in there and he's selling below retail. But the guy's moving some guns. But uh, very nice veteran owned business super duper deal and he gave me a fantastic deal on this particular firearm here and guys that's pretty much it it does come with three mags if you want to make it a full tactical load go ahead and anticipate spending some money on some magazines it will fire just about any ammo out there i was putting hollow points through it shitty uh perfecta uh the uh, american eagle just by basically anything and it ate it ate it ate it without any issues this is probably going to be one of my next packages i'm going to put this on my rig uh, just because more the merrier and yeah, like I said, it's, it's not a heavy firearm. It's 2.1 pounds empty total I think it's hold on let's see. What are we looking at on a full scale? Let's put bring the scales out here real quickly If we were to carry 2.2 Two pounds, 12 ounce, point three ounces. Two pounds, 12.3 ounces. And that's what it would be loaded. Empty. One pound, 12 ounces, 12.7 ounces. So guys, that's basically it. That it will be your FNX. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, we got a lot of cool videos out. Haven't done a lot this week because I just tore my shoulder out. And uh, I'm in pain. <laughs> it's hard to pull a damn slide back. But I had a lot of fun on the range with this thing. And uh, there's going to be a slideshow showing all the details here in a few seconds. It's Code of Boy 32. Support your boys in blue. As always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. And guys, write to Governor Jerry Brown. Tell him your displeasure on the, uh, the legislature out there in California. Um, trying to take over and tell everybody what's best for them. And if, even if you're not from California, you need to flood these people with some letters. So if you're a friend of mine, go ahead and do that. Voice your opinion. Put it out on YouTube, Facebook, and everything else you can. Let's go to Boy32. Out.